this is Unknown Reviews and today I'm going to be doing my first video which is reviewing two different fidget cubes. Now before you go load in the comments I know they're both fake but this one is high quality and this one is low quality as you will see. I'm going to tell you this now if I ever get to 100 subscribers I will do a voice reveal because obviously this is not my real voice. So anyway let's just get on with the video. Okay guys, so we're first going to look at this one, which is the low quality one, so let's push this one aside for now. So we're going to look at the box first, which may be a bit boring to some of you, but we're going to do it anyway. So this one is made of very low quality, like, uh, cardboard. It's really flimsy, as you can tell, and it squeaks, and it's just not as nice looking as the other one. And it's just, you can tell it's not as professional, and it looks very fake. This one is a lot nicer, it's two parts you can lift up. It's uh, made of very strong material, and it just looks a lot nicer, and it's got the colour of the cube on the top, and it just looks a lot more professional, and it's actually just sturdy, and it just looks so much nicer. So here they, here they are side by side. Now let's crack these boxes open and see what's inside. Then we're going to push this high quality one aside and take a look at this low quality one. Okay, so you can see if my camera wants to focus, there is a little opening right there, which you can just open up like this, and this is how it came I did have already have this one, and I wanted to order a better one because I was not pleased with what I bought. So here's how it comes. It comes with this clear plastic on top, which you can just take off like that. And it's actually hard to get the tube out without taking this bit out, but there's just a bit of plastic there. So I'm going to put that back. Ah, oh, guys, keep moving the camera, please. Okay, let's just put this to one side. So here is the first cube. So now we're going to open up this one. So much easier to open, and it actually comes with a bit, a bit of sort of foam padding here, and it just looks so much nicer already, and it's just so much stronger. So there are the two cubes side by side. Let's just move it to the right way. So there they are, side by side. So we're first going to look at the most simple side, the side that probably gets used the least, the breathe. Now I'm working backwards because on the box the click is first, but I kind of want to do this first because it's like the worst feature on both. I enjoy using this feature, but basically the breathe is supposed to symbolise a worry stone, and you're supposed to put your thumb or finger in, and it's just supposed to like rub because it's smooth and it feels nice. Now this one to the right, uh, yeah, to the right. Um, this barely is it's barely indented, and it's not very satisfying because it's just plastic. And I'm sure my camera's not focusing, but it's just not doing what I want it to do. And then this one is like really indented, and you can rub your finger in, and it's really really smooth. So now, let's move on to the roll. Okay, so let's look at this one first. I'm just going to get the camera to focus. As you can see, there's three gears and there's a ball. Now, the gears, they all move fine. Don't get me wrong, they're fine. They, but they're, they're really far in and you can barely get your thumb in and it's just quite annoying to move them. They don't move very fast. The ball was a complete fail and it just, just doesn't move very well. I'm having to give it a lot of pressure to actually move it. And the ball is actually supposed to click. It does not click. Let's look at the higher quality one. So the gears. Now these gears, oh, let's flip the switch. These gears, they move really fast and they, they stick out a lot, as you can see. It's really easy to move them. And the ball spins fluently and you can click it in. We're now going to move into the glide, which I think is like one of the biggest, biggest differences. Now, as you can see, there's a big size difference between these. This one is really small and this one is really big. So let's go to this one first. So if the camera's going to focus, we can see that it's really small and... Let's spin it. So it barely moves. I'm trying to spin as much as I can. It barely moves. It does push in, which is kind of a good feature, I guess. But it barely moves, and it just doesn't do any, the thing you want it to do. Because it's supposed to be like a controller joystick, but it's just not rubbish. Now this, this is a lot better. It's gigantic, and it properly spins around like it's supposed to do. And it doesn't push in, because I don't think that's actually a proper feature. But it does pull out like that. And I don't know if it's supposed to do that, or if it just does that, but... I just think it's a really cool feature and you can see how much this one moves around. Okay, let's now move on to the flip, wherever it is. Here it is. Okay, so as you can see, when I just pick this one up, it was in the middle. And you probably can put this one in the middle, but I'm not going to because it's not a very nice look. But basically with this one, it just you have to put a lot of pressure in. And if you can see on this side, it doesn't automatically go in like this side. It, has, it stops halfway and then you have to press it to make it go in. It's just not very good. It's not very satisfying. It's not what I want, want it to be. This one, however, it's really easy. You just flip it like this, and no pressure needed really at all. It's really good. Okay, let's go on to the spin. So, on there's another difference. Uh, the blue and white cube um, is very small, and this one, the grey and black one, is very big. Now, come on, camera, excuse me, in and out of focus. So there it is, and if when you spin it round, it's really hard to spin it. But as you see. 
You have to put a lot more pressure in. It's really, really noisy. However, this one goes around really fluently, no pressure needed. You can barely even hear it. It doesn't squeak. It just goes around and you can even spin it like this. So I think that's a really good one. Okay, and this is the final one, which I found like quite a big shock. So it's the click. So let's just let the camera focus. Okay, let's look at this one first. This is a low quality one. We can get the camera to focus. There we go. So there's supposed to be three loud buttons. I think it's these ones. And two silent buttons. Yep, not silent. They all make noise. Whereas with this one, there is three loud and two silent. That is a big, big difference. Now let's just look overall. So overall, this cube is a lot better. It was more expensive. They're both off eBay. I'm not going to link them because I don't think I can. But just go check them out. It's pretty easy to find. This one is made out of cheap plastic. And it's just... It rattles and as you can see it's really shiny and it's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be matte. And oh, it's not focusing. But that's kind of what you can see. And this one is matte and it's really smooth and it feels nicer. And it's just so much better overall, guys. So I would definitely recommend getting this one. Sorry, guys, my camera's just messed up. So definitely, definitely, definitely do not get this one. It is so rubbish and I would not recommend it. So, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. And, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed my first video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up thumbs up and i will be back here again to do another video on this channel very soon bye